and the former the year and with the Super Eagles uh, S International Goldwyn Okwa, who also played for Strasbourg, played for uh, Paris Saint German, and then you know in the Nations Cup and in the World Cup. So a lot of experience. So I'm glad to meet him here in Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria. Then to talk about his experience being a player with Paris Saint German and also in Strasbourg and the national team. So. so. It's a pleasure meeting you, Godwin Okwara. Tonight, what can you tell me about your experience as a player for Super Eagles of Nigeria in the Nations Cup in 2000 for Nigeria? Please, can you tell us what it's like playing for Nigeria in the Nations Cup? Yeah, I mean, it's a wonderful thing, it's a good thing. It's anybody's uh, dream to play, to play for his, uh, his nation. Wherever, wherever you're playing, what, what you know, club you're playing, it's your dream, it's everybody's dream, you know, playing, playing for his country. So it's, 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 it's a pleasure for me playing for my country. I'm happy. I play in the World Cup and the Nations Cup. Just unfortunately, in the Nations Cup, we couldn't win the Nations Cup down. Down here in Nigeria. Yeah, in Nigeria. Okay, apart from that, I want to know, please, can you tell us the experience? You know, because I've been to Pack the Princess in France, in Paris. You know, I saw it's just scintillating, you know, everything there is just amazing. I saw Messi, Mbappe, you know, great players for Paris and Germany. During your time, can you tell us, you know, how you feel like playing for a big team like Paris and Germany? With, with likes of yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful team playing for, for a team like that. You know, since ever Paris was created, you're always having a, 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 a big player, a very big player. When you look at the likes of uh, George Weyer, uh, the likes of JJ, Ronaldinho, so it's, they always have a, you know, very top big players around them. So, whenever we are at the France, the atmosphere is, is crazy, you know, they have, they have one of the craziest supporters in Europe, yeah. so the ambience here, the ambience here is wonderful, it's great. I mean, well, I mean, you can be in a pitch and you're not seeing anything. You're not even seeing the person are, you know, next to you because of the firework there. You know? And uh, whenever there is a game, it's always full because they have a lot of supporters coming from other other region in France to come and see them. So it's always full. It's always full. Even 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 if Paris is not playing home, they are playing even away. It's always true. Everybody wants to come and see Paris with them. Okay. So I want to ask you, when you started playing as a young child, growing up, you know, from, I know you are from Imo State, and then as a child, you know, because why I'm asking this question is, when you played Scotland 89, I could remember the late Pelé, he mentioned about you, he said something about Alan Ball. He said he are going to be a great player in the future, you know, which he did. He played for the national team, played up to the World Cup senior. So, did you see anything special you in that score line 89? So, what can you say about that because you achieved that feat? It's my pleasure meeting a, 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 a legend, a wonderful legend like him. He knows football. When you look at him, it's like you think he's a god of football. For me, he's a god of football. You know, the things and the things he do, he does with the football on the pitch. I mean, it's, an, it's amazing. You know, it's it's a pleasure for me meeting him. You know, when you when you when you know something about football, when you sit down, and you know you're not playing anymore, and you sit down, and you see somebody. That is on the pitch. You know that this this guy has a future. You know, I saw it. You know, for a defender, a central defender. You know, in that tournament uh, in Scotland, in that tournament, we have great players. Victor was a uh, man. He's an attacker. Victor ever was a man. You know, for him, not seen. Victor, I was picked at the best, uh, the best player 
in that uh, match against Argentina. We have, we have Argentina attackers, too. they are great. We have our own team. But seeing a central defender that you're not even picking, he's an attacker. Yeah. You're not even picking an attacker or a midfielder, mm. but you picked a defender mm. That's something to rate him as a. The best player in this, in this match, which is he, he has a vision. Okay, I would like to ask you, please. What can you? What is your greatest game? The game you love so much. I mean, in the national team, or you know, the game you really did well. Can you tell us the game where you performed very well? Because for me, I watch vividly in the Nations Cup. You did very well. I watched all the games. Yeah, yeah. You know, against Morocco, South Africa, and the games. So which game do you pick as one of your best? For me, for me, what, what I pick is is the final against Cameroon. Final. The final against Cameroon. Okay, it's the best match. Yeah, you know, we we have two goals down. You know, we need finals. Yes, two goals down. down. Yeah. You know, when you're two goals down, you lose. You think, how are we going to score? But we still come back. Down. And then he equalized the game. <laughs> That's great. You know, we went extra time before the penalty kicks. Oh, yeah. unfortunately, unfortunately, that when you watch that penalty kick, we, have, we only have two people that missed their penalty. Carlo and the victim. Go and check it. Victor penalty. Are they being we have the, the technology, technology now. Technology there, yeah. Like, well, I think it's a goal. That's it's, 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 it. Yeah. They, they won't disallow it. It's it will to be a goal. So I think that might change the whole thing. The whole thing yeah. You know, it might change the whole thing. Definitely. But unfortunately, that we don't have that kind of you know, technology there. So, and um, finally, you know, before I just uh, leave you, what can you tell me? Oh, you know, after, your, after your career, you quit football, you know, you retired as a legend. What can you tell the young people, the young Nigerians, the people that want to emulate you, that people want to become the great Godwin Paras, you know, the future Eagles? What advice can you tell us, you know? I mean, to tell the people that want to be like you. So we just keep on praying for them. We, especially we legends, we will keep on praying for the young stars. Uh, for them to, 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 to have the reason to concentrate on what they love to do. You know, the kind of food that we have now is disturbing. You know, the way they are going now is really disturbing us. You know, the kind of uh, drugs and uh, what is happening around, you know, and what cults and everything. You know, and all these guys that we have going to court, they are all talented. So they have to come yeah, yeah. the game. They are all talented. Most of them are going to be going to a wrong direction. You know? So I uh, just keep on praying for them that they should. Just settle down and look at themselves, know where and where they are going to, so that they can focus on it and make you know, a living out of it. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, uh, this is our legend, Nigerian Spikers legend, Taya Gabriel So I'm glad to interview him. It's a great one to see such a legend alive, telling us his stories, you know, playing for Paris and German and the rest of the so I think people will enjoy this video, seeing him talking to Nigeria and many fans around the world. So thank you. Thank you. So I still remain Daniel Formado here. So I continue to give you exclusive interviews with some great stars around football in Nigeria around the world.